Hello, and today we are in Germany and we're on the hunt for Nanolex. Uh, and these are the coordinates that have been given by Florian, the man in charge. Um, and I think we're here. This says, I think from GCSE German, something along the lines of teaching workshop that was founded in 1935 and 36. To be honest, I thought Florian looked a bit younger than that, but you never know. Um, let's go on and let's see what we can find. Oh, so many stairs, you'd think they'd have elevators. Wow. Well, it's not your typical detailing studio, but it looks pretty impressive, I think you'll agree. Um, I suspect we need to go around the front to go and find somebody, so let's go and have a trot and see what's what. This place is amazing, and I've just spied something that is equally as amazing. It's a lovely Subaru, absolutely gorgeous. In fact, it's my Subaru, funny that. And there's a man here looking at it. I get this in car parks all the time in Germany, <laughs> in the UK. And I think I know this man, he's called Florian. How are you doing? Hello, good, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, and this is your new Nanolex HQ slash Empire? It is, yes. It's the factory and office that we moved into six weeks ago, so. Oh, pretty recent. Yeah. And uh, yes. who were the former occupiers, dare I ask? Um, well, in the very beginning, it was uh, the uh, German Reichsbahn, I guess. Right. So this was built in 1935-36 as a uh, technical school and workshop for this for compound. Making, for making where they trains. Used to repair trains. Repair yes. trains. Just trains. Yeah, just trains, nothing else. Nothing else. And then it was abandoned for a long time. And then 20 years ago, this whole area was, um, well, I guess, uh, re revived, so to speak. And um, yeah. yeah, and then we ended up uh, occupying the, <laughs> <laughs> the former school and um, no. well, it's a, it's doing a what place. we do. And it's the first, yeah. it's an amazing, amazing place. Yeah. And what, and interesting to be different. So many of these places yeah. are in industrial states. Yeah. Um, and to be uh, in a, obviously a former industrial state, but kind of tucked away in the trees is awesome. Anyway, yeah. more and on. Shall we go inside? Yes. Do lead the way. Sure. Thank you. What do you think of my car? Very nice. Yeah. I was actually, I was just interested in the brownie bites that you have on the. Yes. Yes. No, that, that where we would have a, where we would have a, a steering wheel and gas pedal and everything. You have brownie bites and then. Yeah. No, it's important driving yeah. aid. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so. Ah, I'm going. Here we, yes. Here we are. All right, here we go. Wow. Yeah. This place is huge. It's always, you know, sometimes it's just bigger than it. Pretty impressive. Bigger yeah. than it, bigger yeah. than you tell people. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. That's always a way. Avoids disappointment. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So you do all your packaging in this section by the looks of it. Yes, this is uh, where we do our packaging. Um, this is where we have a small amount of stock for smaller <laughs> small, orders. Small amount of stock. Smaller parcels spying. than the All rest sorts. is basically spread on shelves. So Crikey. We, um, uh, in this area, we pack parcels. And then in this area, we actually pack pallets. Mm -hmm. And this is sort of in between. So and yeah. you do um, a lot of international shipping here, by the looks yes. of things. Yes, we ship to pretty much everywhere, but we have distribution in 52 countries at the moment. Wow. Well, so I've just spotted, um, Nanolex, as I've probably mentioned more than once, are ceramic gurus, because you actually make your ceramics. We um, do, yes. Rather than importing them. Yes. And I've just spotted behind you probably about 10,000 yep. pounds worth of ceramic coatings. Um, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess, <laughs> I guess something, something along those lines. Right. We have been wandering up and down these aisles, and I've been pummeling Florian, in a good way, for information about some of these products, because I haven't seen them all myself. Um, there is so much going on here, it's amazing. Yeah, new products. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of which, this was yes. the first one here. Yep. Um, now, this is uh, called a Nanolex Professional Wheel, wheel cleaner, cleaner Concentrate. Yeah. So, uh, what's the difference between a professional wheel cleaner? Do you have to do it in a, in a uniform? Um, yes, you should do it in a uniform. You okay. should wear uh, proper protection, actually. Uh, right. It's okay. professional in terms of there's actually something you can do wrong, um, where other products like the wheel cleaner and iron remover that we have, there's nothing you can really do wrong. You can spray it on all the surfaces. You, you can, can leave it, it for it as long children. as you like. Yeah. Mm, you can dilute it one to two to one to 10. 
so up to seven and a half liters of ready to use product. But they just need to be aware that it can if be you let it dry, if you, you know, you use it in the wrong way on, you know, the wrong surface. I mm. mean, we explain everything, obviously, you know, the label will tell you what to do. Yeah. But if you don't, you're going to damage your wheels. Yeah. And if that happens, yeah. what you do is you call Florin and he will buy you yeah. brand new wheels yeah, yeah, yeah. every well, single time. Split rims. It's not a problem. Yeah. Diamond cut. Not a problem. Yeah, yeah. Um, OK, <laughs> well, shall we move on here? That's not technically true before we get letters again. Um, and I'm just looking here. We have. Ah, oh, this is something I want to show you guys. Convertible top sealant. Now, yeah. um, convertible tops, we get this a lot within the PVD member group, yeah. is it what's a good sealant? Uh, Fabisil Gold uh, is quite often mentioned. Uh, Renovo do a sealant. I believe G-Technic and stuff do sealants. Yeah. Um, but this is the first time I've seen the Nanolex one. Why is this different from what's already out there? This is very easy to use. You actually have a professional size. Uh, most customers will prefer a smaller size. This size. Yeah. You can see by just the amount of bottles we have in stock at the moment. It's just... It's a popular thing. We have one yeah. bottle. Especially around this time, um, at the beginning enough, of summer. especially yeah. in the UK, where it's, every it, time yeah. I'm in the UK, I'm thinking, why are there so many convertibles? No, we have Is a lot there, of convertibles in yeah, the UK. Yeah. It's mostly driven by sort of larger middle-aged men yeah, for yeah. some reason. Yeah. Um, but the um, <laughs> convertible soft top, so the idea, how long, what's the durability on this? Um, the durability is one season. It's mostly defined a season. by I'm how often as in a weather season. One year. I would say one year. One year. Okay. It uh, it largely depends on how often you open and close the top. Because the movement of opening and closing yeah. your hood basically puts pressure on the bonds, which breaks exactly, them down, yeah. and that goes yeah. there. Um, and does this create a nice hydrophobic finish? It does. Yes. It does indeed. Yes. And that's often what people look like. We have a, exactly. a lot of guys who you know they have their hood proofed and they try to do the beading thing that doesn't work. It doesn't mean it's not protected. No, I'm exactly. Sorry. It doesn't mean it's not protected. The, the scale of water penetration largely depends on the textile in terms of the mesh. Gotcha. You know, the bigger the gaps the in the mesh... The better the penetration. Yeah. Shall we move on? So, yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, We're going here. Now, yeah, um, I think you got the, the point. I, I got the Jost. Yes, yes absolutely. Best-selling product in Germany. In Germany? Yes. Microfiber wash. Yep. Um, now, I tried a chemical guys one of this, and it mm -hmm. was all right. It smelled really nice. It's just a little tester thing. What, again, is this for? This is to maintain your microfibers so that they actually keep on working. Mm -hmm. And every, um, I haven't used the other one, to be honest, um, because as a general rule, we, we try, well, we compare a lot, but only after we're finished. Mm -hmm. So otherwise, you know, you're automatically going to try and you copy know, a product like, that is yeah, already there and yeah, you don't really like improve on it. Every, someone shows you a Subaru all the time. And all you want you know, is a Subaru. And at the end yeah. of the day, suddenly, you, you know, you really want to you get to choose and then you... I, can, I find one. There's, yeah. there's a, a yeah, yeah. legacy I know. It's only, it's only so, 10,000 pounds. So. Um, <laughs> so the thing about this is that it's actually, uh, it will not leave anything behind. With a lot of um, detergents, the problem is what it leaves behind. Mm -hmm. So this doesn't leave anything behind. It uh, cleans very well, but it doesn't leave anything behind. And that's why you don't use softener as well. If you're cleaning exactly, microfibers, yeah. don't put softener. Yeah. Because, I mean, the softness comes from what the softener leaves behind mm -hmm. that you physically have in the cloth. Yes. And you don't want to have anything in the cloth because the It'll cloth contaminate. is... Yeah. And it's basically a microfiber works like, you know, a shovel or something... You know, to pick yeah. something up. So if you so fill if it's that, already yeah, exactly. It's got a limited exactly, valency. Yeah. If you fill yeah. that valency yeah. with softener, it's not going to be very so, good. Now I'm going to yeah. put this back here, and we yeah. shall trot on. It's quite entertaining putting that in a different place because I happen to notice that every time you go up and down a shelf, Florin is just like turning yeah. them around, yeah, getting yeah, all straight yeah. and stuff like Compulsive. that. It is interesting. Yeah, it is. Ah, insect remover. Now I won't yes. ask you what this does um, because about you know 90% of our viewership will probably understand what insect remover does. Um, and the other 10% have just accidentally gone on YouTube. Um, <laughs> so insect remover, it, now this I'm guessing is an enzyme action that breaks down the kind of organics so that it can be um, removed safely. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. So that's kind of cool. And this is obviously available in concentrate. What's it? What's yep. dilution for this? Um, you can actually dilute it from one to three to one to five. And um, don't let it dry. And don't let it dry. <laughs> These are all the tips. Just read the bloody label, I think, is the other message. One thing I've noticed <laughs> no, is, is they've got kiddie lids. So these are the lids that um, are, you get them on medicines and stuff like that. Um, they're the ones that only children can undo. Um, and that's a, a, apparently a requirement in Germany that, that you need to basically, if you want to get into Nanolex car care, you need a child in order to open all your lids. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's just law. Well, but now that the UK isn't really a part of the European Union anymore. No, no, no we've got some months left. We've got some months left. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> it's fine. So we shall pursue down here. Right. Um, and we're looking at trim regenerators. We've got um, SI finish. What is this? Yes, this is uh, 
I would call it a quick sealant. Mm -hmm. You can apply it basically like a quick detailer. A, okay, so it's a quick sealant. Yeah. And let me guess, it leaves some protection behind. Yes. So For it's what most people call a quick uh, a spray sealant then. Mm, yeah, I guess you could call it. Was well, it different? Are you just trying to invent a genre? Well, most or? of them are. Well, we're we're trying to be as. Um, consumer friendly and as environmentally friendly at the same time. Mm -hmm. So this is water based. So, no, so has it got silanes and siloxane and stuff? Um, like? Yes. Yeah. Uh, if, if, if like the other spray sealants. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, there's so many things you could potentially use with an SI somewhere. It, it is in true. It, yep. Hidden uh, in the formula. Um, the idea behind this was to have some sort of sacrificial layer that will stick to the coating. I mean, nothing bonds to a layer of coating that oh, we so, produce. So this is, okay. but this will stick. This is one of the two products we have to actually maintain the coating if you feel the need to. Um, gotcha. Hence, is that why the SI? Does this actually yes, contain exactly. any SI in it? Yes. Oh, it does. It as contains well. SI, but uh, not none in high of concentration, the uh, I SI O2. That's something I guess we will talk about. I'm sure, little, I'm sure uh, we will talk about it. Whether, whether we can broadcast it is another SIO2 question. SIO2 and all that, but this <laughs> will stick. Uh, you can use it as a standalone product. You can use it to maintain pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. So whether you put it on a wax or a sealant or a coating, it will it goes on top stick of yeah, to it, top last five, six washes, and you need very little of it. So 10 milliliters on average per car. Wow. Which means this is 75. Well, I was about to say, because you get through that in two yes. squirts from your But this is, mm -hmm. let's say, a professional size. Mm -hmm. We also have it in the little smaller one. sizes, the little much people. smaller sizes. This actually comes with the uh, Ultra Bundle that we're currently out of stock. I've seen it. So it's a bundle that yeah. comes with all sorts and yep. the maintenance of your coat as well with as everything else. With base coat, yeah. SI finish. Mm -hmm. I understand yeah. that. To, yeah. All right. <laughs> See, that's restraint, <laughs> he's learning. So um, I've seen here, we've got the SI3D BC. Yep. I'm guessing that means base coat, not before Christ. <clears throat> it does. Um, and is this a base for all of your other coatings? Is this what you put on Yes, first? you can actually also use it for other, let's say, types of products, as in you can put a wax on it, you mm -hmm. can put pretty much any type of sealant onto it, because okay. what it does um, as a base coat is it becomes extremely dense mm -hmm. and it doesn't have pores, which means this will be a foundation that has a very high resistance against mechanical and uh, chemical attack. Gotcha. So if you like using a wax, but you want to put something down, and I guess what yep. you can do is you put this down, you wax your car, and then maybe six weeks later, you want to put new wax on. Yeah, and that's perfectly and fine. This will sit underneath. Yep. So that's an interesting product. We've actually tested our wax with it and without it, and the durability is double with it. Gotcha. So if you're really into waxing, get that applied first time, because you can get it applied by Analex Pro, or you can do it yourself, I imagine. Yep. Um, and then you can carry on waxing until your heart is delighted. So that was the base coat. Yep. And I'm just looking down here now, um, and we've got your SI3D HD. Now, Florian loves inventing whole genres, and now he's turned his hand at inventing more acronyms, because that's what we need <coughs> in the world. So uh, we have SI3D HD. Now, to a kid of my age, kid, <laughs> um, HD means high definition. If you're a little bit older, it means heavy duty. And if you're called Florian, it means high density. Yeah. So thanks for that. Um, now, this is professional grade, isn't it? It is, yes. Professional only. You need to be trained by us or an importer or a reseller who's actually trained by us to gotcha. train the professional. Mm -hmm. And then we track literally every single bottle with um, it has a, a serial number. Serial number on this one is yeah. for, for demonstration purposes only. There's also... And you get a little card here. Sorry to cut you yeah. off, but you get a little no. card. Uh, and then this is with a serial number and it is the date and all the rest of it. So the idea is the warranty or the kind of the guarantee, so to speak, on this is a lot more solid than perhaps it is on, on other ones where they just said, yeah, yeah, it's, it lasts for a lifetime. As long as you don't sell the car, touch the car, drive the car or do anything else and the lifetime is only three months. Um, but anyway, that's me being a cynic. Um, now, HD, high density. Yep. What's interesting is there's been a flood from, from certain places onto certain online auction places where you, you get uh, quite cheap yep. um, ceramic products. Now, yep. these have been sort of played around with and tested now. And a lot of people are saying, well, basically, the, the, the content of the ceramic stuff, the important stuff, is very, very low, which means it can be applied quite easily. But actually, it's, <coughs> not, it's not giving you anything kind of significant. I'm guessing this yeah. high density is exactly yeah. the opposite. 
It is, yeah. It's a very high content of the actual raw material that counts. Mm -hmm. um, we've been selling it this way for th three years now. I mean, our durability or the, the durability that we quote, you know, we stand behind it in terms of it will last this long if you maintain it properly. Gotcha. Or if you go to a tunnel wash, we can also predict pretty, pretty a well. Tunnel, a tunnel how wash long is, is gonna, a word for an automatic car wash. Yeah, automatic car wash, tunnel wash, scratch tunnel machine. Tunnel wash. It sounds a bit weird. Yeah, yeah scratch yeah. machine. That scratch works. Scratch machine. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah. So even if yeah. you, so for example, if you've got a corporate company cars, hmm. um, right. and I mean, I remember when I was a sales rep day, I had to keep my car clean. That yep. was the thing. But I, I strangely yes. enough, couldn't go around with two buckets. So it was it was automatic car washes, and yep. it had to be every other bloody yeah. day of the week. I mean, it it, it has to work in an automatic car wash because at the end of the day, this is what most people will use. Mm. So even if we would obviously love everyone to maintain the car in a different way. In Florian's dreamland, every person is just sat there in clouds with, with microfibers yeah. just touching yeah. cars. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. But you know. Doing safe washing methods. That's his thing. And yeah. all that. Yeah. But in reality, people don't. And we're aware of it. And I mean, we can dream all day long, but at the end of the day, we have to offer something that will you know, fit the, into the reality. Real world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about now? I don't want to go into too much depth on yeah. hardness because I had a long chat with somebody called Craig mm. and we spent nearly an hour talking about hardness, which yeah. um, if you take an isolation talking to a full grown man about hardness for an hour, it's, it's, it's awkward. Um, yeah, yeah. But you say <laughs> this is for cars going through um, yeah. the automatic washes. Yeah. They obviously have a, have an, a, a physical abrasion element yeah, yeah. to the vehicle. Yeah. Will this protect it from that? Um, it will protect it from that, yeah. I mean, Completely? it will, no. Nothing will completely protect it from that because you can never predict, you know, yeah. who's gonna. If you had, you know, like your farmer going through with a tractor or. And then you follow a, in your hatchback yeah. and then, yeah, that absolutely just, makes sense. You know, so it'll reduce you, it, it'll give you yeah. resistance, yeah. I yeah. suppose, it's the it safe will, way. It will definitely give you resistance. Um, and there are some people who are really addicted to this. I've just spotted a massive canister of this. <laughs> I mean, this is the guy. This is a professional product. You can't buy it over the shelf. Yeah. Um, but uh, so you can't give us any prices. But as an estimate, what's the value of something? I mean, that's a lot of ceramic. What you're sealant on there. holding right now? Mm. One liter. Four digits at least. So over a thousand pounds, yeah. like that. Um. So uh, yeah, that's all good. That was <laughs> thoroughly predictable. Everybody saw that coming. We must rush on because we have so much to do. Yeah. Um, but we've done the HD. So um, I just want to spot this one here, and we have SI Shield. Yep. Now this is your kind of easy to use one, isn't it? This is exactly the most easy to use coating we've done so far, mm -hmm. with having, well, let's say, um, enthusiasts in mind. So enthusiasts that will do this maybe once every two years. So, so I think a, a big change I think in the industry is obviously ceramic coatings are currently really professional only. Some people yeah. do apply them at home and there are more enthusiast detailers who are getting closer to a level whereby in terms of correction and paint care, you can really apply um, something at home. It's not ideal, certainly from my point of view, I, said yeah. there, and I, I see enough professional struggle with things yep. um, for it to be there, but it's certainly a movement in that direction. Now your core product is SI3D. But I see yep. over there, we have a whole pack. Should we go over there and have a yep. look how they're all put together? Sure. Um, this place, uh, we can't show you all of it because there's lots of secret stuff going on here. <laughs> um, but we thought we'd just go run through yep. here. Um, Which is actually a manual part. It's the manual part. They yeah. were going to get a robot arm to do it, um, yeah. but it was something like 22 million pounds, and we found it would be cheaper just to have somebody called Deborah. Um, <laughs> no, actually called uh, Julia. Julia. She just walked in. Julia. So we will probably, yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah, tell us what's going on here. Well, this is yeah, basically the uh, hand assembly line mm -hmm. for the bundles. So at the end, you will have something like this in various different uh, ways. So from ultra glass bundle to mm -hmm. SI 3D ultra bundle containing SI finish, SI 3D, SI 3D base coat, all the microfibers, the stickers, applicator blocks, gloves, um, no glasses, actually, but you don't get those yet. Uh, no, you should. Well, there's so many different kinds. And there are indeed. So wherever you are in the yeah. world, yeah, wherever you, you buy, buy you buy, you can know that somebody called Julia, yeah, has touched. Well, it's actually your, your, um, your, your microfibers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So there is. You. It will be. You can recognize it by by this that will come with the box. So there will be a name, handwritten name. So All oh, right. Whoever is putting it together. 
with the name always uh, the same. <laughs> needs to, yeah, exactly. The name is always the same, but it's always different people doing it. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's uh, that's the manual part. Cool. Well, I'm, what I'm going to do yeah. now is uh, drag Florian over to his training center, which is in a different part of Saarbrück, and so we get to fire up Betty, which will be fun, mm -hmm. as long as she doesn't <laughs> actually on fire. And um, <laughs> we shall travel over there, and then we're going to have a, a kind of heart-to-heart -heart over a table with hopefully a coffee. Yeah. Um, and um, we will knit and natter and chatter about the, uh, about the industry at large. Yeah. And then there'll be lots of editing, because we'll probably both say things that we're not supposed to say, so uh, <laughs> it'll probably be quite a short interview by the end of it.